Hey dupes, how are we doing today? Welcome to another fantastic edition of the Final Thoughts series where we're just going to sit down, watch some awesome gameplay, and digest what we played. This is a very exciting Final Thoughts for me. Review the first one on the magnificent console of the next-gen experience. This is reviewed on PlayStation 5. I do want to make a note that this game is also available on PlayStation 4 as well. There won't be too many differences uh, really... Uh, between the PlayStation 4 version and the PlayStation 5 version. Of course, we have the ray tracing. We have uh, a bunch of different modes, fidelity, uh, performance, if you really want to hit those high frames per second targets going on with this game. But yeah, thank you so much for joining with me. Uh, that's just kind of a little snippet. So I just wanted to give a disclosure that this is on PS5 and PS4. Uh, and it seems like Sony is going to be apt to be putting a lot of the playstation 5 supposed games on playstation 4 but i digress let's talk about spider-man miles morales and somniac has really grown to that triple a uh high quality developer they've gone through uh, a lot of growing and have been with sony for a very long time with ratchet and clank and um, and we've seen a, a bunch of other uh, titles from them in recent years, most mot notably Ratchet and Clank's. And uh, they decided to helm the project of Spider-Man 2018. Spider-Man, what a strong year for Sony with God of War. And we really started to see quality stories. And I fell in love with the world that Insomniac has built. And it has been a great expansion upon here. Uh, and Miles Morales, uh, a very important uh, character to really progress the story of Spider-Man. We've all heard the tale a million times, so it's cr so great to, uh, speaking story-wise, to get a fresh take on uh, a Spider-Man story with Miles Morales. Uh, beautifully performed, of course. I think at this point we're going to expect that the performances are really good by, uh, I believe his name is uh, Naji. Uh... I can't uh, remember his whole name here, but uh, the performances are very strong. This is uh, definitely that move, that movie experience that Insomniac has come to know and build. That you know, very pixel, Pixar-like animations, fluidly moving, and this is really only enhanced by PlayStation 5. So I do want to stress that I did review this on the PS5. So it does have that glossy finish, and it really does make me feel like playing uh, a true next-gen experience that I, I've really entered next-gen. Yes, I picked up Demon Souls. Yes, I also picked up Sack, uh, Boy. Uh, but really, playing this game, it really made me feel like the next-gen. Uh, just with the ray tracing, looking at the buildings and the reflections. And I really am talking about the environments and the overall look of the game. So I'm just going to put it plain and simple. You're not going to have any disappointment with the look of this game. Uh, runs very smoothly, very little to no bugs whatsoever. It's just a very polished game overall. And not only is the look and the feel very polished, uh, running at all these different modes, uh, and it's great that there are different modes you can choose from if you do prefer more of the frame rate. I prefer the fidelity, fidelity mode. I played much of this game in fidelity mode. I really like the look and the feel, and I can definitely sacrifice... Uh, the movement a little bit however that being said there is a big difference there and you can instantaneously feel the difference depending if you switch to these modes i'm not 100 percent sure if they these are available on playstation 4 but i'm sure there is some way shape or form of some customization there uh, but we're continuing mile morales's story from spider-man 2018 really becoming his own spider-man there's a bunch of different challenges that Miles has to face becoming his own Spider-Man and gaining his own identity. It was really interesting to see uh, Spider-Man's new redesign only in the remaster here on PS5. And I did get the uh, Ultimate Edition that included the uh, original Spider-Man for free remasters. So it is uh, exciting to kind of go back and play that. Uh, so there is, yes, of course, Peter's redesign to match Yuri's voice acting and his overall motion capture but that we'll see more of that come uh the real eventual sequel of spider-man 2 this is really just focusing on miles morales' story and you really do get uh, a sense that he's his own character and his animations and i loved 
that he was still Spider-Man doing Spider-Man things and it really just felt grounded into his his own realm of uh, uh, characters and family and uh, everyone that he kind of operates with on a daily basis versus who Peter Parker operates with on a daily basis. So I really wanted to just note that uh, that comparison. This isn't just, this is, is it is another Spider-Man game, but it's not just another Spider-Man game. You're kind of playing uh, in a slightly reduced form of New York City, which is beautifully rendered, especially with the snow and again, playing on the PS5. You are going to notice a bunch of details that really might change the overall experience uh, for you. But uh, again, getting back on Miles' story, uh, it's it's just uh, quite an evolution. And uh, it was a lot of fun uh, just really playing a movie like Experience and, and really not having it be too long. This is going to be a, you know, 9 to 12 hour campaign if you're really taking your time with it. There is much to do after the game there's a bunch of collectibles that feel fresh for miles morales it will kind of feel all very similar to what we did play in 2018 spider-man which is definitely no complaints here i loved what i played it felt even smoother and better and there was no drawbacks yes miles morales does have less equipment to use than spider-man does uh in 2018 spider-man but they feel true and uh, quality over quantity is the key word here uh, in every aspect. Yes, this is kind of an in-between title. This is Spider-Man 1.5 in a sense in that it was a launch title. This is available on PlayStation 4. This is a shorter game. But the quality and expansiveness and really the, the craftsmanship all make it completely worth the, uh, the $50 price tag on PlayStation 5 and the $40 price tag on PS4, which is completely, incredibly worth the sell. And I fully recommend this. If you played the original Spider-Man, absolutely play this. If you want to continue the story along, this is something here just until we do get that eventual sequel. Actually, I should say this is more than just something until we get what we want. This is what we wanted. This is a crucial development in the overall Spider-Man universe arc, and it's okay that we're not getting uh, an MCU, and I'm kind of okay with Marvel's Avengers ultimately failing and flopping, and I was kind of wondering if they were going to include Spider-Man, of course, with his exclusivity deal coming out next year in Avengers. I'm kind of going off on a tangent about really the realm of the games here. Uh, but my point being is that I, I, I'm so glad that we can kind of have our own Spider-Man universe. There's multiple games with multiple characters and th there's so much to draw from that we really don't need to have an MGU uh, Marvel Gaming universe at this point. This is standing wholeheartedly by itself. Loved everything I played, and, and that being said as a whole, I'm having an, uh, a great experience with the PlayStation 5. I only had one game crash here. I do have to note that um, really I did have one game crash. Nothing too bad here. It did get a little frantic uh, with the gameplay. There There is, it is just more of the same here. You're not going to be getting something um, that really ramps up the gameplay, but I'm sure we will be seeing that more in Spider-Man 2. This is more of a showcase but yet a very crucial and important aspect uh in addition to the overall arc i do want to give this game a little bit of a higher rating but i'm trying to be a little more uh refrained and uh really be more critical uh just in terms of what we're getting because i really do want to save more of the higher scores for the games that really do truly need to play that being said overall i want to give spider-man an eight out of 10, I do want to give this game a nine, but I think, um, you know, there's other games, other experiences that really deserve that one extra little point just because uh, all being said and done, this is somewhat of a rehash of what we've seen in 2018, which is completely okay. This is exactly the way it should be, but this title could, uh, you could wait a little bit on this title. This isn't something that needs to be absolutely played day one, much like maybe some other titles that are out on PS5 and that are on PlayStation 5 coming in the future. 
uh together but this was an amazing experience so i just want to say thank you so much uh if you do want to check it out i really do recommend but that's gonna close out the video for my final thoughts on spider-man miles morales the first game i've reviewed on the playstation 5 uh it's absolutely something that's really gonna just connect you and engage you in the spider-man universe with all the costumes added contents at a quality level that's not super overwhelming and if you have a week to play this game that's what you're looking for on a somewhat budgeted title until we get the eventual uh all but confirmed spider-man 2 great experience loved what i see here many modes a showcase for the ps5 but just let's refrain from a little higher for those must play experiences that we'll probably see going on but thank you so much tubes that's going to take up the video here hope you're having a great day thank you so much and of course we'll be right back